And it's like, oh, I have like how much? I have two billion dollars held at my mom's house. How did that get there? So then I go and I buy tons of revives, tons of full restores, and I never have to worry about anyone ever dying ever. <laughs> but tons of max makes, potions and such. Max max potions. Yeah. Yeah. Near. 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 Yeah. So do you think the third game of Gen 5 is going to be for the 3DS? Um, I've heard rumors that Black and White have 3DS enhancements, though I've also heard they have DSi enhancements. Yeah, so they I'm have not to, sure if those, uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, I'm not sure if they have 3DS-specific enhancements, but I do know they have DSi enhancements. But, um, since, uh, Pokemon, uh, what I think they'll probably do is they'll do something like Crystal Version, where, uh, they, um, well, not Crystal Version, that was exclusive to Game Boy Color. They do something like Gold and Silver, where you can play it on the old console, so you probably could play it on the DS. But, but it if works you better plug it, on the new one. Yeah, like, uh, if you put, you get full color in, uh, if you put it into a Game Boy Color, but if you put it into a black, gold version, into a black and white Pokemon, not Pokemon, Game Boy, it'll still work. So I think that's what'll happen for the 3DS. Like, maybe they'll finally give you the ability to walk diagonally. <laughs> How hard is it to walk diagonally? Very How hard? Apparently. How hard is it to let us be able to trade before the first gym? Um, well, you see, if they let you trade before the first gym, then they have to not put in lines of code that put in pointless side quests. So, obviously, it takes way more effort to not put in pointless side quests. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm not happy about it either. It, you ha apparently have to get the C gear, which is some thing. It, it basically put, gives you connectivity to other things. And so why don't they just give that to you from the get-go? Like, yeah, like, make it like the Poker Walker. Just give it to you Not from the, the get-go and let me trade and interact and shit. Uh, Don't force me to play the game on my own for a few hours before I can interact with other people. Yeah, especially since trying to get to the, the first... The first few gyms are always some of the hardest because it's harder to level up your Pokemon and you don't generally have as many or as wide a variety. Uh, but the first gym in this game, uh, do they have the starter that's weak to yours or strong against yours? I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Uh, I, I would assume not strong because that would just be cheap for that yeah, early uh, in the game. It'd be one thing if it was like a middle of the road gym where you have time to get Pokemon of various types. But it's like if it's the first gym and they're the ones that are strong against yours, that'd be bullshit. Because at that point, you only have one or two Pokemon that can actually be used. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I do know that there are two rivals, uh, and one has the Pokemon that's weak to you, and one has the Pokemon that's strong to you. Actually, that's another thing about Gen 5 that I've heard that I really like. They bring back the douchebag uh, trainer, but they also have the let's just be friends trainer as well. I'm glad we could finally make a compromise, Nintendo. Well, the rival is both. Yeah, because um, I like... Uh, having a douchebag rival because then, you know, it's actually someone that you actually look forward to facing as opposed Indeed. to a spaz a spaz like Barry or a non-factor like May was. But, you know, if you really want to have the friendly rival, fine. Just give me a douchebag to fight too. Oh yeah, Cynthia's back. Uh, Cynthia, uh, Cynthia's back. Uh, apparently the, uh, the, one of the team, the team rocket grunt that spoke in English and gold and silver version is back too. He said something about it. Said something. I also saw, I, I was looking at some of the music. Uh, I've only listened to the wild battle and the trainer themes, but I keep on seeing like in the side and the related videos, Kanto champion battle. So apparently they brought back that song in a remix form, which I'm looking forward to, I guess, but, yeah. Oh, uh, really? You have to send me a link to that, because I want to listen to it. Well, I haven't listened to it myself either, but, um, I haven't listened to it either, but it says Kanto Championship Battle. Uh, but, so I'm assuming that it's a remix of some kind. Possibly. Possibly. Hold on, I'll go... Well, no, I don't want to listen to it, because then I'll ruin it the moment when it actually happens. I don't want to listen to it. 
I've already spoiled yeah. the name for me. I know who the champion is and such. Yeah. I've heard that the champion is kind of a... Um, suffers the same stigma that the last three have, just kind of wandering around all over the place in the game, so you know who it's going to be at the very end. Yeah, it's like, it's a recurring character that must be important. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the when you saw Asshat fucking Oak as the champion at the end of the first game... It was, it was a was surprise, because like, you've already beaten him how many times? Yeah, granted he's still incredibly non-threatening, but at least it was shocking. And then Cynthia was just kind of like, oh, hi, Cynthia, you keep showing up whenever anything important happens. You must be the champion or something close to it. Yeah. I didn't actually like Cynthia. It's like she wasn't interesting. I mean, at least when, with, like, Lance or Steven, they had interesting elements to them. Like, Lance went out of his way to take care of Team Rocket and went out of his way to try to make your rival a better person. And Steven um, just had some sort of an enigma around him because you knew he was the Stone Company's kid and all this other stuff. But Cynthia just seemed very dull to me. Mm. I didn't like her. I liked her all right. She just had no personality. Well, yeah. Well, then again, all the NPCs in Pokemon have no personality. Except for the rival in Gen 2. And Gen 1. Rival in Gen 1. Yeah. Well, the rival in Gen 2 had, like, a d dynamic character arc, which was neat. Like, well, because, it's, oh, because his dad is Giovanni, but... Yeah. Oh, spoiler alert. His dad's Giovanni. Oh, please, the game's been out for over ten years. We know this already. Well, they didn't actually officially reveal it until you, they discovered a hidden event with Celebi and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh, please, it was heavily hinted at in Gen 2. Uh, yeah, it was heavily hinted at in Gen 2, and there was a line about Giovanni's kid having red hair and fire red and leaf green. But they don't blatantly go out and state it until the Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Yeah, but I mean, we all figured it out ages ago. Yeah. Uh. Asshat Oak was here. Exanded's a loser. <laughs> hate freaking asshat. Ugh. I wonder what I'm going to name my rival in this game. I've used motherfucker, dumb fuck, shit face. Too bad motherfucking piece of douchebag shit doesn't fit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'll... Uh, I wonder if you can even name the rival in this game. Or or if it'll be like Gen uh, 4 when you can only name one of them. I'm not sure, but... As uh, long as I can name someone. Yeah. Besides yourself. Besides myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm naming the, I'm naming the starters I get, unless it, it results in having to trade as before they're hatched. <laughs> Uh, well, if you well, if even if you get them after they're hatched, you can still breed them with a ditto, uh, get the egg, and then yeah. But again, I like, getting, I like getting them early and using them in my team once I play the game. Yeah, nope. because if I get True. the because if I get the eggs, it's obviously uh, Smug Leaf Ganon Pork and Revolver Asha. <laughs> Revolver Asha what? <laughs> Oh, it's a symbol! Meow! 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 <laughs> uh. Dude, did you just call your clowns to fight me? Oh, <laughs> uh, no! Go away! What's her? You call this your- Go away! You're cranting my style! <laughs> I love it's that comic. Like the comic, yeah. I love that comic. Um, so, Smugly, Ganon, Pork, and Asha, Revolver, Oshawott. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since we've had such memorable starters, though. I mean, like... Yeah, Gen 3 and 4 were kind of bland. It, yeah, Gen 4 more than Gen 3, I think, but definitely, yeah, Gen 4 and Gen 3 had weak starters. <sighs> Gen 4 with the water and grass were basically Squirtle and... Bulbasaur again, just slightly different physical designs. Yeah, and with uh, and of and uh, the and then you had a ripoff of uh, the what's it called Torchic. Chimchar was pretty much just Torchic, but a monkey. 
at least I'm Monkey on in the first form, once it got into second and third phase, it was basically the same thing. Yeah. Oh, well, it's still a monkey. The monkey. <laughs> uh, poor Dennis Hopper. You are dead yeah, now. Poor... Yeah. There are a lot of... Oh, yeah, there's the three monkey things that look relatively useless. Yeah. Oh, look, they're, diff they're three different types. I don't fucking care. Yeah. There are better wild ones of grass and fire and water type. Yeah. From what I've looked at their stats, they're not particularly spectacular either. So I'm probably not going to bother. Like I said, I'm going to try and get all three starters. Yeah. Then use the version exclusive psychic type of whatever I get, the dark cat, and I haven't decided what my sixth one will be. Oh, wait, the electric yeah. zebra. <laughs> Uh, what I plan on doing is, uh, I want to get the, I definitely want to get, I'm going to uh, get Oshawa to start. I definitely want to get uh, either the eel electric type or the zebra. Um, I, like the, pure, I like pure electric types. I don't like having yeah. electric with other things. It makes it confusing. Yeah. At least as far as trying to level it up properly. Yeah. Uh, I also want to get the ghost chandelier thingy. Because that looks cool. Um trying to think what else caught my eye. Uh, maybe that rock thing. That looked really cool. The, what rock and then, thing? Uh, the giant rock thing that had like red crystals growing out of it. Oh, uh, the one that, you have to trade to get its final form? Yeah, that. Hi. That looked That looked cool. Um, yeah, and I'll probably find something else along the way for, to fill my fifth spot. I plan on trying to catch as many Pokemon throughout the game as possible this time, so I don't have to go and try to backtrack to get the Pokedex. Again, I does does it have to be caught or no? You don't have to catch or see them. You just have to beat the game to allow trading from older gens to get them. Yeah. So if I, you beat the lead for you can unlock the Poke Shifter and bring your Pokemon over. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But still, shifting Pokemon over is a lot easier than catching them. Uh, in the wild. In Pal Park here. Yeah, well, not just... Well, Pal Park's a pain in the ass. Uh, Diamond and Pearl. I don't want to have to fight every trainer in the game to transfer my old Pokemon over. Thanks. Yeah. It wasn't that, that bad, but it was... Because by the time you're done with the game, you've seen at least, at least all but 20 of them. Yeah, so then you have to go around and look for the trainers you skipped over. Because your natural instinct is to try to avoid trainer battles, because they're a pain in the no, butt I tend, to, I, the tend to, I tend to do trainer battles unless I'm in a cave. It's like if it's on a route, I fight them all because it's good experience, and I can just go right back to the Pokemon Center in the town I was just in. Yeah, but just like naturally, you're going to skip over a few trainers uh, just because either you're running low on health or items, or you're just tired and you want to get to the next town. And obviously, the one trainer you miss is going to have that one rare Pokemon, and you don't know which one it is, so you're going to have to... Ah, I hated that. Uh, but thankfully, after you... Be I do like that in Black and White, that they make it so that they have all new Pokemon for the main game. But afterwards, once you beat the Elite Four, all the old Pokemon just randomly pop out out of nowhere, and you can catch them all there. Yeah, that happened in Gen 4 as well. That did happen in Gen 4, but Gen 4 sucks. Gen 3, yeah. I, I still hate Gen 3 the most. Uh, Gen 3... Gen 3 has again, too many HMs. The world was boring. The new Pokemon weren't that good. Yeah, again, I the Hoenn region is... Uh, I find second worst region in the game behind Sinnoh. I like Sinnoh, uh, okay. I, I don't know. Sinnoh seemed big and empty and bland to me. Hoenn seemed big, empty, and bland to me. Well, Mostly because the, the sprites, I don't the overworld sprites, I don't think ever looked right. Yeah, uh, but at least I don't know. At least with Hoenn, I felt a more of a captivity to it than Sinnoh. I mean, sure, uh, having there was way too much fucking water in Hoenn, but you know something about Hoenn clicked with me that I liked uh, not as much as Gen One or Two, but I still liked it. Uh, and Gen Three is also where I think the battle system was the best, but. I do still think that Gen 2, as a game, is still the most fun to play through. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, do you know anything about that Dream World thing that I've been hearing a lot about? I think that's like the event Pokemon area or something. I'm not sure. I know you can get the three legendary dogs as well as a particular evolution. Yeah. Not that um, I need to get the particular evolution because I have all of them shiny. Fuck you, who... 
How many years? Uh, let's see. I got the games when I was five. Twelve years.